check this out this is my windows laptop and of course it is on my macbook air which i'm currently using a virtual machine for it now i actually want to do this as an experiment because i want to see how good it is to have an integration between mac and even windows but here's the problem guys i start i downloaded the windows 11 iso file for the 64-bit but somehow the virtual machine that i'm using doesn't even support a 64-bit system and even if i created one with a 64-bit system it just showed an error saying that it's not supported i tried this on utm but it does show me some bunch of error messages which doesn't even recognize the operating system and again it does not work for the 64-bit system parallels could be great for running windows and even having integration with mac but for the fee of the subscription i don't think i'm going to be getting that so probably not and after doing a bit of research i finally found a way to install windows on my macbook using an arm iso file so i downloaded it from the official microsoft website i created a virtual machine using the specs that i wanted to have and finally got windows 11 running i mean just by looking at it the mouse does feel a bit smooth performance wise when just opening the windows menu is like a little bit slow but obviously it's a virtual machine it is going to be acting like that i did also install the vm tools for my keyboard the mouse and all of that just to get the virtual machine running as smooth and yet it is possible to install windows on a virtual machine and i haven't told you this guys because my macbook air is indeed the apple silicon based macbook which means i cannot install a 64-bit system for windows so i have to get the arm version which is basically another architecture for m1 m2 m3 or m4 macbooks to run on because with x x64 it would not support it it just wouldn't work i remember last time when i did install windows was on my macbook pro which i gave to my sister i had to use something called bootcamp to make a separate beautiful installation so basically one boot up is mac os the other one is windows i don't like the fact that when you have to shut down from mac and then just start off windows and then just shut down windows and stuff it's just crazy to go back and forth between these two operating systems with a virtual machine on the other hand it's perfect because I do not have to shut down from my Mac OS and boot to a separate Windows operating system. I can just do all inside my Mac, Mac OS without any fuss. And obviously performance isn't going to be the best when running a virtual machine. But it does do a good job if my MacBook can handle it with the M4 processor.